In the fast food world, we've done Popeyes, KFC, McDonald's, Five Guys, White Castle, Taco Bell, and in and out And today we tackle what arguably is in the top two of all chicken sandwiches, Chick-fil-A. And here's how we're starting. The way we like to start, with a bag of it. There it is. A bag full of Chick-fil-A. Um, no. They're cold and not crispy. And I'm not even gonna waste my time with them. Apparently Max and Jilly smoked a fat one before the episode because they got a lot of damn fries in here. And here it is. I do like this little, um, this little foil lined bag. I think that's good. That's it. How about I straighten it out for you, Max? Well, let's look. Apparently, Alan now works at Chick-fil-A. The hell? What's with the f up distribution? What, but wait, f up distribution? How about the cheap distribution? I mean, how much does this pickle cost? Wait, how much does this pickle cost? Because this one is clearly more expensive than this one, but... I mean, look, like here's the, here they were, like this. You, your first bite is here, you get no pickle. Here's your chicken. Okay. There's no sauce in this. Does it not come with sauce? Did you guys order it without sauce? No, I don't know. You know what this is? Pickles. You really are stoned. Polynesian sauce? Chick-fil-A sauce. So we're going to make our own version of this. But why wouldn't they put it in? Can you not get it in? No, no, you can. I, d I don't oh. think. Oh, Max fucked up. Unfortunate. Because I like to see how much sauce they put in. It's like mayo, mustard, barbecue sauce for sure. It's actually pretty good. This might be a good, a good thing. Might save this. So can I put it in? Let me remove the two carefully placed pickles. I don't know how much they put in. You always have to get it the way it's supposed to be, Max. God. Uh, honestly, I thought it would come with sauce. I assumed that you didn't have to custom add sauce. Wait, did, but did you order this? Yes, but I ordered that with the fries because I knew we were so going to make it. So if you had an order of this, I'd be eating a dry burger. I suppose so, yeah. With two shitty little with their, pickles. With their delivery service, I guess. But it's a really popular sandwich. It is. So maybe people know something that you don't and I don't. Bite time. Ready? It's a little sweet. I don't know what all the noise is about. Unless we've screwed it up. I can't imagine we did. So it's delivered, so I'm not going by heat. For sure I'm not going by heat. And I'm not, I don't know, it's kind of dry. It's okay, it's not great. As far as I'm concerned, Popeyes kills this. I don't want all the Chick-fil-A people coming after me though, so forget I said that. Let's just get on with making our own, shall we? Shall we? We shall. Start with our brine. It's the way I like to deep fry chicken by starting with buttermilk. Buttermilk, hello? And in this case, it's not spicy, so I won't put in hot sauce like I normally do, but I will give it some salt and pepper for flavor. And I'm gonna give it a hint of pickle juice because I feel like that's in there. And then I'll mix with a knife because I don't have my whisk out here. Don't laugh at me. And then we'll simply add our two boneless chicken breasts, our two boneless skinless chicken breasts. Wow, they're massive. Oh, those are gonna be huge in the sandwich, but that's okay, right? Nothing wrong with that. If you're gonna have a sandwich, let's have a sandwich. Okay, that'll sit. If you want to let that sit overnight, let it sit overnight. You could Put it in the fridge in the morning before you go to work and come back and then, and then cook it. My favorite part, Chick-fil-A, is the foil bag. 
All right, now we make the, uh, the batter part for it. I have here plain everyday flour. To that we'll add approximately the same amount of cornstarch. Well, that amount of cornstarch. And so we'll mix this. I would use a whisk, but well, I don't have that, clearly. And when this is good, let's deal with the chicken, shall we? Look, I'm not even convinced that uh, Chick-fil-A uses a buttermilk setup like this. They might not. They really might not. But it's what I like to do, and for me, it's a way of getting a super good crunch on here. So we'll give this guy a nice coating. And when you think it's coated well, give it a shake. Onto a baking sheet and deal with the next one. And you see like in little, what would this be, Max? Like the, the armpit of this breast? The crevasses. The crevasses. Yes, get it in there too. It's gonna be two huge freaking chicken sandwiches, man. And when this is done, let's go straight into the oil. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna double fry. We're gonna give it six minutes aside for a first fry. Take it out, let it rest, and then four minutes aside for the second. You should always lay the chicken away from you, so in case it splatters, it doesn't splatter on you. Like this. So, timer, six minutes aside, and now we'll make our sauce. Oh, and by the way, the oil is about 350. We'll start with a little mayo. We're kind of making this up because we don't know. It's definitely a little tiny bit sweet, so I'll give it a bit of honey and some barbecue sauce, not too much, and some mustard. And I've got two kinds here. I think I'm gonna try, well, let me taste this again. I don't know, it might be Dijon. Let me try Dijon first. But let me mix this and see if it does anything. Well, it certainly doesn't look like theirs. Theirs is much yellower and a very different consistency. But they've got, you know, xanthan gum and all that kind of crap in there. It's actually pretty close. Let's try a little bit of regular mustard to see if that will improve the flavor and look. Not exactly, but I think it's, it's the right amount of sweetness and the right amount of barbecue. I like it, this could be a new combination. Uh, okay, pickles. We will remember the waffle cut pickles. The mangled waffle cut pickle. Poor guy, he's seen better days. There's only one way to do them. It's with an old school waffle cutter from my mom's house. I love this thing. We've talked about this. My mom used to do this waffle cut butter thing. This is not gonna work, is it? That's a great way to just cut your finger. Yeah. Piss me off. So, pickle on the deck. And we cut. Too thick. Thick. But I'll cut a couple more. Okay. And look, one mangled one. Just like theirs. We've got pickles cut. We've got our sauce made. We're gonna throw our bun on the Evo right at the end. How great, huh? How great. Alrighty, so we've had our first six minutes. And now we'll turn these guys over. To get another six on their backside. Now remember, if you have a deep fryer and they're completely submerged, it's six minutes all in one whack. But because it's only halfway up the chicken, we're doing it in two parts. Okay, so it's been six minutes now on that side. We'll carefully take these guys out. We're gonna let them rest, and we'll come back in about uh, 10 minutes and do the second set of frying. Last four minutes aside. Now's when we're gonna get some gorgeous color, some really good crispiness, 
and overall deliciousness. Our friends are ready, so out we come. And look at gorgeous brown, crispy, beautiful. Come on, sweetheart, you too. Everybody out. But I don't want to get out. Well, I'm in charge. Okay, there's no way you can eat them. They're too damn hot. Let's get our bun ready, then we'll be close. So you know I'm a fan of uh, toasting a bun before I put something in it. And, and before I do that, I put butter on it just to help it get a little extra color and some flavor. Well, I didn't have any butter out here, but I did have mayonnaise. I got mayonnaise on here. We've done this before. We've done this with a grilled cheese, in fact. And you would never have taken a bite of that grilled cheese and gone, oh my God, there's mayonnaise on this. And certainly not as dramatic as I just did it. You would have just said, hey, that's a great grilled cheese. Because remember, mayonnaise, like butter, is just fat. And fat means flavor. And works the same way. So we'll pop these down here. I'll help the top guy along. It's got that little concave thing. I can smell it. Oh. Look at, oh boy. Buns off. Lovely. Lovelier. Maxi, and now we build. You ready? So that's first. Unlike theirs. And now the pickle stage, which will be more than two. Because I think you should be able to have some pickle in every bite, don't you? That's pickle placement. Dear Chick-fil-A, check it out. That's what we're talking about. Chicken time. <laughs> it's a little out of whack. It's a little big on one side. Do we care? No, that's how theirs came. Actually, theirs came really fucking wonky, but... Now? I mean, what more can I do? That's it. I've got nothing else to give. There is nothing more. It's the leaning tower of Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. And nothing left to do but gleek in your own throat. I have to say, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Do you see what's happening below my thumb? Below my baby finger? You know what that's from? The sauce that wasn't on theirs! Damn it. Look at all those pickles. Yeah, just say, look at all those pickles. Look at all those pickles. That's the way to make a sandwich. And now a bite. I'm going right here. I'm taking the tip. I mean the end. You hear that? Oh, f***. No. That's a f***ing chicken sandwich. Crispy? Yeah, tender? Flavorful from the sauce and the pickles. And the whole thing is just good. Mmm. The whole thing is just good. So, what I like to say, what have we learned? We've learned that Chick-fil-A needs more pickles on their bun. I think they should pre-sauce the bun. Don't leave it up to the people. Because honestly, if I didn't know better, and Max hadn't been so high, I wouldn't have thought to have ordered every sauce they have. I would have just got it. Hey, I hear it's good. I'll just order it. It would come and be all fucking dry and stuff. So I think Popeye's wins, and mine certainly wins over Chick fil A's. Don't shy away from making uh, fried chicken sandwiches or pieces or whatever, because it's great. And by the way, if you're watching this and it's still before midnight on the December 22nd, 2019, you have plenty of time to take part in our biggest giveaway yet. Over $15,000 in tremendous prizes. We're giving away an Evo flat griddle. We're giving away a Traeger Timberline 850. We're giving away Caliber Pro Kamado in teal. We're giving away almost $1,000 in Kamakoto Japanese knives. A year's worth of chosen food products. A year's worth of bad pickle teas. And what I think is the best prize. Okay, bragging a bit. Brunch made by me for six at my restaurant, Nana Tacos, here in San Diego. But go find the video that says we're giving away the world. Or 
It's not called that. Whatever it's called. Go find that. The instructions are there. You go do that. I'll go eat this. Thanks for hanging out. And we will see you. That was about to come out really stupid. So just see ya.